Alright guys, he's Inc here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. Don't worry, I'm still going to have the video coming out um, about the results for the community challenge and stuff. I just need to do some calculations and stuff, but it'll be out in the next couple of days. Um, but this is not to do with that. This is actually to do with a kind of follow-up to the previous video that I made, where I was talking about either Sagat is one of two things. He is either broken, as in not working, I don't mean broken as in amazing, or he is probably the worst unit that's been released into the game thus far. And we now know the answer to that question. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't actually make a lot of sense to me. Um, and the reason I say the answer doesn't make a lot of sense to me is because there kind of is still some inconsistencies with his kit. This answer doesn't really clear those things up. So we're going to talk about that in this video and I am going to now give my unfiltered take on what I think about Sagat. So with regards to Sagat, his kit, if it's functioning correctly and all the rest of it, the answer is yes. Now I suspected that this could be the case okay and the reason I suspected that this could be the case is because when I played with this unit on TW he pretty much functioned in the exact same way um, he didn't do anything differently than he does here now on global things can be slightly different because we obviously can get changes to units but we got an answer and the answer again was not as expected it was the following so you can see here, and I knew this because I'd spoke to Dino anyway, because he told me before this went out. So, Sagat is indeed playing as intended, but we forwarded feedback from the community about him. But for now, yep, he's meant to do that, similar to the other versions, okay? Now, this, while it's an answer, doesn't clear everything up for me, okay? And the reason I say that is because the way his clones function they are supposed to function like that. So they are supposed to stand there doing nothing, right? We've got that. We understand that. That's what the clones are supposed to do. So, why is this here? If all allied fighters except for Feral Sagat and his copies are knocked out, the, the damage inflicted by the copies will be increased by 500%, while their damage reduction will be increased by 50%. Now, to be clear, if those clones suddenly did five damage, that would be an increase of 500% because they do nothing. They literally do nothing. So that means these, this 6-6 six, six is literally worthless. It, it's not bugged. It's not not good. It's literally something that can't perform the function that it says it's supposed to perform, which does not make sense. It really does not make sense because they're basically telling people, and, and people have made their Sagat 6x, they're telling people, dump all your cars in here and you're going to get a 500% damage increase, which is huge, right? It's, it's, it's huge. But they don't do any damage. Now, it says specifically if you read it, word for word, the damage inflicted by the copies. So it's not like for every copy you have on the field, Sagat's damage is increased by 500%. That would mean it would still work, right? It specifically says damage inflicted by the copies. They don't inflict any damage. And the unit isn't bugged. It is working as intended. So what is this? Why is this here? This quite literally is like someone saying, you know, if, I don't know, if, if you, I don't even know, I can't even think of a scenario where this makes sense. Like, it, it, there's no example I can give. It's, it's a lie. It's plain and simple. It's a lie. They've, they've put something onto his kit that's a lie. And if it's not bugged and it's not broken and it's working as intended, how can you justify that? The unit, in essence, is falsely advertising, right? And I, again, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole of saying false advertising, but I mean, it is, because if you are saying that 
by doing this, this unit will do this. But that unit cannot do the thing it's saying, then that in itself is misleading. Because people who play this game don't watch these videos. Not everyone watches these videos. So there, there could quite literally be hundreds or thousands of players who decided, I'm going to pull for Sagat. Okay, he's not great straight away, but when I get him to 6 6 cars, they'll start obviously doing damage because why would they not? They might just literally think you need to get that unit to 6 6 before those clones would actually do anything because of this. But they don't. So this is quite literally lying to the player base and I do not understand why they would say that this everything is as intended because even if the unit is supposed to function as badly as he functions okay fine he's a bad unit move on right but why would you not admit that this is a mistake because this must be a mistake because if this isn't a mistake then what are you saying are you saying that you purposely put a description in there it doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. People may have spent money to buy vehicle summons, vehicle boxes, whatever. Why why have that if the unit is functioning as intended? So to me that's a big issue. Now also on the subject of Sagat, I have seen people say that um, he may still have some value, just not in your team as a support unit cause of this skill here. Assist skill. Effective when the fighter is in an assist position. When the assisted fighter is knocked out, Feral Sagat uses their soul to summon a copy to keep fighting. The copy inherits 40% of Feral Sagat's attack, defense and HP. Now, what many people assumed, because it, it isn't clear here, okay? People assumed that if you put this unit onto, for example, Viper. Right, we'll use Viper as an example. And Viper was to die. He would then summon a clone of Viper who would continue. No, he doesn't do that. He doesn't. Shout out to Don for what I'm about to show you. But Don actually borrowed a maxed out copy of this unit. Okay, no, he didn't summon for it because he saw what the unit was like. He borrowed a maxed out copy of this unit and used him in the assist position to just find out exactly what he does as an assist and I'm going to show you that right now. Now if you look you will see that during the loadout for this um, for this team Sagat is in the assist position. He is up top being an assist to Hugo and that's what we're going to take a look at right. So we'll move on through and we will see exactly what happens here. So if you watch you'll see what we're basically looking for at this stage is for Hugo to die, right? So we're going through, doing the battle, yada yada yada. Big hits are going to come up in a second, which will take out Hugo. Here he goes Hugo, and look who's appeared at the back. You have a copy of Pharaoh Sagat. And look what happens. Yep, that's right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He literally does nothing. So basically, as a support, he will summon a copy of himself, which it does not say here, that does nothing. What is the benefit of this unit on support? Because his copy with him will give him additional attack and defense and stuff, right? Which, okay, great if you can actually use it, but you really can't because just the way that the, the unit's designed for him to actually ramp up some additional attack and defense you would really need a couple of copies of his clones and at that point you lose access to his c3 which is the only thing about this unit that's worth it so instead what happens in support is he summons a copy of a unit that does nothing it doesn't attack it doesn't contribute any additional attack and defense to the team that it's on it, it literally comes on the field to stand and do nothing. It will not help you in any way, shape or form other than possibly, possibly the one use, the one single solitary use. If you have a unit that attacks the back unit, it'll take that hat. 
and it'll save one other unit dying from, say, Akuma doing his C2. Literally, that's like the only thing. A bit like Gen's shadow that sits at the back. The only difference is Shen's Gen shadow is actually useful. The fact that this unit is actually functioning the way that it's supposed to function is laughable. Um, it is 100% the worst unit in the game. By far. It, honestly, I mean, I know Pika hates standard Adon. Standard Adon makes this, this guy makes standard Adon look like an S tier unit. This guy is just the worst unit that has been introduced in any gacha game I can think of. And the worst part about it is, he's a special, not a special, but you know what I mean, he's a non-standard factional unit. He's an infernal unit. To me, while it's not always the case, Inferno and Master, in theory anyway, are supposed to be a tier above standard factional units. Now we know in practice that's not necessarily the case, right? But they're supposed to be, okay? Go away, Eby. This guy, honestly, if he was given as a free factional unit that you could summon, he would still be awful. There is no redeeming qualities for this guy. I cannot understate just how poor this unit is from a design standpoint, from a usefulness standpoint, from a marketing standpoint for the fact that he is just a flat out blatant lie. To me, this is the, on a gameplay side, putting aside other things, on a gameplay side, this is the biggest stain on this game. He is utterly, utterly trash. And if you've summoned for this guy, if you actually went ahead and summoned for this guy, I would literally feel hard done by. I would feel like I had been hoodwinked. While, yes, you probably should have realised from the trial he wasn't good, you could actually in your head think, okay, you know, clearly he's not working. The 6-6, the, the six, six, his, his clones are going to do damage, right? Look at Vega, look at Kami. It's not uncommon. So you could have summoned. You could have summoned on the strength of this leading you to believe that his clones were actually going to do something. And if his clones did something with 500% increased damage here, he could be okay. But the fact that he is performing as intended and it's intended that his clones do nothing means that you got lied to. What else can you call it? I'm not being harsh on the game. That is a lie. Plain and simple. So, that's the update. Sagat is the worst unit in the game. He is less useful than Dog Turd. Dog Turd, at least, has a function. This guy doesn't. So, yeah. Do not summon if he pops up in a shop where you can get him and you really want him for collection purposes. Get one and leave him sitting on the shelf because there's never going to be a use for this guy. He is utterly, utterly garble and according to what we can see, he's supposed to be. Go figure. So, praise the Lord we never got 50% off on this guy because if we did, more people would have summoned, more people would be angry and upset. At least we can take solace in the fact that we don't need to summon him. He's got no use. And I really, 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 really strongly suggest that the developers do not make a path of trials that requires you to have Pharaoh Sagat. Because that would just be the ultimate kick in the stones if they decided to do that. But anyway, guys, I have been hazing. This has been probably the most scathing I've been about a unit since this game started, but hey, they designed them that way, so they must have wanted us to, for some reason, see this bad unit. Maybe the next unit will shine more because they put out a turd just before it? I don't know. But anyway, trash tier unit. He's broken. He's not broken. He just sucks. That's it. Anyway, Hazink, out. Hey,